Well guys, our time at the uh, Green Bay Apartments is over and we're moving to some new apartments. I guess one of maybe the negative things about an Airbnb is they only have like one room, right? Normally it's a private owner who owns the apartment or the house. And if you don't book it in advance enough, then other people have booked maybe days that you would want to stay there. And so that's kind of what happened with this place. There was other people that already booked today. They were checking in today, so we needed to check out and move to a different location. But the plus side of that is that you get to um, experience new places, right? You get to upgrade. If you didn't like that one very much, you can go and explore a different place. And so that's one of the things that we really like about it is we get to see a lot of different apartments. We get to see a lot of different living situations in different places like um, we're in Thailand and Cambodia and now Indonesia, several different places in Indonesia. And so that's really fun. Airbnb is really cool. And um, right now we're heading to a new one at a new mall, new apartment complex. So let's go check it out. We've already been to the apartment and let me tell you, it is amazingly nice. We will show you it and give you a full tour tomorrow, but it is awesome. Right now, we are at Lipo Mall, Lipo Mall Puri, I think it's called in West Jakarta. It's really close to the apartment we're staying at. And look what we found, a little Carl's Jr. action. So, we're gonna cruise in, eat some Carl's Jr., take you guys along and let you see what they've got here in Indonesia at Carl's Jr. All right, Carl's Jr., Sarah, what do they got? What are you gonna get? A famous star with cheese? Maybe. You got all kinds of good stuff. They got the Mile High Burger. Looks like it has onion rings on it. Yeah. Ooh, chili cheese fries. Superstar with cheese? Yeah. Combo? Pizza? Medium. Um, medium. Then, pizza dengan yeah, crisp cut fries. Yeah, so we're sitting here waiting for our food and I thought I'd just show you the menu. Uh, you can see what they've got there. Maybe something that's different is um, hand breaded chicken tenders, but they might have chicken tenders back home. I'm not sure. Everything else looks pretty normal. Doesn't look like they really have anything strange, unless the taco salad, because sometimes Carl's Jr. back home, sir, has a green burrito. Wow, your head was huge. Do that again. Yeah, your head is huge and out of focus. So we've got a self-serve all-you-can-drink soda fountain. A mix of blueberry and strawberry Fanta. Cool. And it looks really purple. This lid is not coming off. This stuff. Wow, I found they're good. Yeah. Well, you guys can see it. Where'd you get the drink? Coke. Oh wow, hold on. Oh yeah, it is really purple. Where'd got, you get the drink, sir? I got Coke. Jules? I didn't get anything. <laughs> Did you get any food? Yeah, I got a taco salad. Beef taco salad. I got Coke too, and uh, we'll show you the food when it gets here. So the food is here now. We have got a, wow, a superstar. Look at that guy. It looks pretty original. Seth? He accidentally got a superstar. Again. Again. So uh, he didn't actually want that. He wanted a famous star. <laughs> really? But he's really a double man. A superstar. Yeah. That thing's as big as your head almost. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> head is only that big. No, it's for you. And uh, Sarah? I got a famous star. Famous star. Yeah, just one patty. That's right. And then we've got the Chris Cut fries. And uh, instead of the regular fries, ooh, delicioso. Jules says the fries are really good. Oh man, they are delicious. delicious. Really? Yeah. Well, look what Jules has got. It is so good too. Use your imagination, people. 
All right, Joel's taco salad is here. We're gonna open it up for the first time. But before you open it, Joel's, what's your first reaction? My first reaction is I'm very disappointed that I ordered a taco salad and not a burger. <laughs> I think if you come to Carl's Jr., you're supposed to order a burger because this doesn't, this isn't what I was expecting. But we'll let, well let's see. We'll open it up. Oh, that's cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's very petite. It's almost as big as Seth's head. Jalapeno. Looks like it has cilantro on it. That should be tasty. Yeah. Jalapenos, lettuce, some chili maybe they put on there, and cheese. So should be pretty good. You want to give it a taste for him? Yeah. Because this is something new. I've never seen this before. Yeah, I've never seen this, but I think because it has cilantro on it. Is it cilantro or parsley? What is it? Maybe parsley. Parsley? That's weird. Yeah. That's a bummer. Okay, it tastes nice. This is okay. <laughs> the food was really good there. I think Joel's might have been a little bit disappointed with our salad. But, um, but the burgers and the fries and everything was really good. Uh, let's see. Right now we're going to head down to Hypermart. Sorry it's so loud in here, but we're gonna head down to Hypermart, try to get some groceries for tonight, see if we can't find that salami. If we can, I can tell you the salami story. Hopefully, they have salami. No salami again. We're looking for Italian dry salami. And uh, we haven't been able to find it yet, but that's just a regular Hypermart. It's really just like our Hypermart back in Georgia. It's really not too different at all, I think. Everything's the same except they had grape juice here. Yeah, they didn't have, yeah, they didn't have grape juice, like real 100% pure grape juice. They don't have that in Jogja at Hypermart, but they had it here, so we bought a bunch and stocked up on it. So I told you the other day that I would tell you the salami and cheese and cracker story, which is kind of a romantic story, but we didn't find it the other day. Uh, today we find it for sure because this seems like a really nice mall but they didn't have it here either. So maybe we will find it another day.